And as you can see, uh, my tires are Federals. So yeah, that's that's what it ended up looking like when I got with it. What is up guys, Teen Ricey here, back at it again with another video and I'm wearing like, supposed to go to work today so I was wearing like two shirts. We're gonna do something very special today. And what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna show you how to tag your tires for basically $2. This isn't the best way to tag your tires but this is gonna be the cheapest way for now if you wanna get your tires tagged. And what do I mean by tires tag? You know, a whole bunch of people like to put, you know, the white letters in their tires. So I'm gonna show you how to do that for $2 only. And that's only $2. As you can see, uh, my tires are Federals. So yeah, that's that's what it ended up looking like when I got with it. It looks horrible in person, like literally horrible in person. Uh, I haven't started on the back, or I haven't done the back, but um, I'm gonna get started on it. But yeah, that's, that's basically what it looks like. Federal tires, nothing too special, nothing too fancy. It looks pretty cool, though, to be honest with you, from an angle. It looks really awesome. So, what did I use to get this? This right here. And these are a uh, big wipeout. I got it at Walmart, as you guys saw in the intro. It's at Walmart right here. Big whiteout uh, correction pin. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that this stays on there every time you wash your car. I'm just saying that this will help you get an idea of what your tires will look like or what your car would look like with tag tires. So don't be blowing up the comment section because I know this ain't gonna last long on the car. Don't be blowing up in the comment section. This is just something pretty ricer, ricerish to do. And I'm gonna show you guys because I'm team ricer and I do these kind of things, you know what I'm saying? So we got my EpiPen right here, my little EpiPen. Even though it's not an EpiPen, I know it's not an EpiPen, but uh, I did this side already. I did one of these. I don't know if I should do the baby letters too or should just leave them alone. Uh, I gotta get this side, but I wanna do the little letters and big letters too. So yeah, let me check this out. Basically what you wanna do is these things shake. Sorry for the noise. These things shake, so you have to shake it. And once you're done shaking it, you're gonna have to squeeze it to get the like to get the paint off of it. But sometimes it leaves residue from when you're doing it previously. So basically, you come right here, and you want to get to the wheel, and then you you squeeze it right here. You you poke and squeeze, and if nothing's coming out, just keep squeezing, squeeze until something comes out. You squeeze. See that? Squeeze right here, and it does run. So be careful; it does run. And I'm gonna show you guys how to clean up the running, the runningness of of this mess. So. So that's one letter. And like I said, this ain't gonna come out completely good. I think I said that. I should warn you guys, warning, this is probably something you shouldn't or wouldn't wanna do to your car if you really love your car, which I love my car, but I really wanna see how these look with tag time, so. And now I'm gonna get cracking on the rest, so enjoy this time lapse.
that's been tagged. I wanted to see how this would look like. I want to see how this would look like, but I think I don't have I don't have the patience to do that. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on right now, see how long they last, and then when I wash the car again, I'm gonna put them on again, and then I'll actually buy permanent marker to actually do this because it looks pretty cool. Like to be honest with you, this is really really awesome. I really like how they look. It gives the car like a different look to be honest with you. And then I have to do this side, so. It's going to be something pretty awesome to do. Then we're gonna get a rag to wipe everything off, clean everything up, and just keep it all nice and get it all nice and tidy. It's kind of hard to take this off. It must be good, because if it's hard to take it off right now, just right here, then it must be freaking good. Let's see, good. That looks pretty me. Look at that. Teen Racer approves. Oh, dude, I forgot to take the S off of there. Ah, I'll take that off later. Look at that. That looks pretty sick. At a spot, and I tested out the freaking letters, and they're, they're garbage. They suck, but... Uh, yeah they're all gone all of them are gone as you guys can see they're all gone so they're not really good for the road at all and uh it's just for the moment just to let you see what it looks like so yeah this is garbage i'm gonna take a couple pictures of the car and yeah this is my this is my spot for taking the pictures as y'all can see i guess they were like i guess they were just flexing too much the tires were flexing a lot and it just didn't want to stay so they all came off I'm gonna have to get actual real paint paint. Not this retarded mess. But uh yeah, that's it's all coming off. If you guys can see that, that's all peeling off and coming off. So yeah, look at that. This one's all the way off. It's ridiculous. But if you guys thought this was kind of helpful and if this answered a bit of you guys' questions. Leave a thumbs up for the video. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a rice day. I'll catch you guys another another time. I won't be nothing. Now they always say congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had the dedication. People hate and say we changing look, we made it. Yeah, we made it.